challenge to you today is in Micah 2 verse 13. Micah 2 verse 13. One who breaks open the way will go up before them. They will break through the gate and go out. Their king will pass through before them. The Lord at their head. God is going before you to prepare for you a new path hallelujah amen a new season of breakthrough not because you earned it but because of favor say i'm highly favored favor means preferential treatment hallelujah preferential treatment not because you earned it you got to get that into your mind you got to get that into your spirit no matter what you are going through allow favor to become a shield around you. Don't allow your situation to talk to you. Amen. Submit your situation to the cross. And at the cross, Jesus said, it's finished. Every battle you are fi fighting has been fought. You have the victory. You, Jesus won. You more than a conqueror. Jesus conquered, so you are receiving it for free, meaning you are more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Am I talking to you? So God is walking behind the scene. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Amen. The sellout of Joseph was for repurposing and repositioning him so that he can be aligned to his dream. So there are certain things that happen in your life. It is for repurposing and repositioning if you're a child of God so you can be aligned to God's dream for your life. Hallelujah. We take certain things negatively, but God is behind the scenes setting you up for a step up. Hallelujah. Am I talking to you? Hallelujah. Never complain about your situation because somebody else can take your situation and flip it around. Some people will give the hand and the leg to be where you are. Hallelujah. Once you start appreciating what you have, you also open the tap of favor. Hallelujah. So when you appreciate the least, God adds the much. So go home today, hallelujah. While you're sitting here, appreciate God that you can see. Appreciate God that you can hear. Appreciate God that you can stand up and walk. Appreciate God that you got a job. Appreciate God that you have a plate of food. Appreciate God that you have a clothes on your back. So once you start walking a life of appreciation, it also opens the tap of favor. Hallelujah. Because when you are appreciative, thankful in the least, the Bible says God adds the much. It's a principle that you trigger. Every time you complain, I got this small house. Uh, you complain, oh, I haven't got a car. You complain, oh, I made a mistake and married this man. You complain this, you complain that, you complain that. So what is happening? You are attracting evil. And what's happening? Your blessings are being eroded. But if you turn around and start praising God, whatever you have, even that ugly husband will become the most handsome husband. God can turn it around. Hallelujah. Appreciate that wife. Appreciate that husband. Just tell even they say uh, fake it till you make it. But don't fake it. Faith. F-A-I-T-H. Faith it till you make it. Hallelujah. By faith. Oh this is the most beautiful wife. By faith. This is the most handsome husband. That pot belly is going to go out in the next 30 days. I declare it in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible with God. Hallelujah. God can shape you. He can make you. He can remodel you. Hallelujah. And give you a best spiritual makeover. You don't have to go and pay money. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is important. You are complaining about your hand. Hallelujah. Somebody who has no hand can take your hand and make the best use of it. Hallelujah. You got no job, but you got a hand. And somebody out there who has no hand will take your hand and turn the whole situation around. So God is saying to you this morning, appreciate. Tell your neighbor, appreciate everything that you have in Jesus. It opens the tap of favor. Hallelujah. Amen. Naaman went to war. Hallelujah. The spoils of war was a maid, a domestic engineer. Now we can't call maid, we call domestic engineer. So you are a domestic engineer. Hallelujah. So 
Naaman brought a domestic engineer at home. He went to war. Hallelujah. There was a battle. But there was a breakthrough after the battle. So this domestic engineer came with Naaman. But this domestic engineer was instrumental for his healing. Hallelujah. God can set you up. Hallelujah. For a step up. You don't know who you're going to come into contact in the next week or the next month. Is the one that God is going to use to shift you into the next dimension. Hallelujah. So when you walk in revelation, you will not miss divine appointments. Sometimes divine appointment is walking with you every day. You go to the photo stat, divine appointment is there. You go to the taxi, divine appointment is there. You go to the shop, divine appointment is there. You come to the church, divine appointment. But, but you're not walking in revelation and divine appointment is standing and following you and watching you. The only problem is that divine appointment is a kairos appointment. It cannot stay too long with you. And if you don't, hallelujah, walk in wish that divine appointment walks away and you become stagnant again hallelujah say to your neighbor catch your kairos moment Watch out for your divine appointment because God sets you up. Hallelujah. And sometimes God sets you up in such a way. And I always say your divine appointment comes gift wrapped, not in good package. So when you look at the package and when you look at the gift wrapper, you say, oh, this is looking so bad. But inside is a treasure. Inside is your breakthrough. Inside is your divine connection. You got to walk in revelation. You will not miss divine opportunities in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So we got to understand, while waiting for your season of favor, make yourself useful. Hallelujah. Don't be an ornament. Joseph was highly favored, but in the process towards his positioning, he made himself useful. Hallelujah. Amen. Joseph said, oh, I'm in prison, but I'm not going to stand around. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to count the days. I'm not going to take a stick and write on the prison wall day one, day two, day three, day four. I'm going to take a sweep. I'm going to take a broom and I'm going to sweep. Wherever I am is going to be the cleanest place. Hallelujah. I'm going to make myself useful. Even if it's a baker or a butler, I'm going to serve. Hallelujah. I'm going to make myself useful. My divine appointment is coming. If God God is for me who can be against me if they can put me in the prison but the door shall not hold me the chains will not keep me the prison doors will not hold me because I know my God hallelujah amen so Joseph said to himself I've got one garment one clothes I'll wash it I'll iron it I'll look my best hallelujah I don't even want the prison to smell on me even I'm in prison hallelujah when somebody looks at me they'll think I'm on a holiday hallelujah because nothing can steal my joy my joy is eternal is not external whatever they can do outside to me they cannot touch me inside because inside my God lives and if my God lives inside nobody can steal my laughter away nobody can steal my passion away Nobody can steal my dream. If I have to bypass my way to the dream, hallelujah. If I have to go through a pit and if I go through a prison, it's just another pit stop. It's not another U-turn. But nothing can stop me from achieving my dream. If God said it, let it be so. Tell your neighbor, change your attitude. Change your attitude. Change your approach, hallelujah. Let's stand in the presence of God.